folks, I can't emphasize enough how serious this pandemic is. Be smart, be kind, extend love to one another, and make us Spartans proud. We started watching the pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, probably late January when we first learned from the CDC of the level three travel uh, warning that they put out. And that was more specifically for our international students, any study abroad type programs. And then as it started to spread to other countries, that's when we started to realize that this was gonna be far more impactful than we had initially thought. My immediate reaction to receiving the news of COVID having a major impact on campus and the way we handle classes was a bit of trepidation, a bit of nervousness. It was shocking um, for all of us um, because of so many unknowns that things were literally changing by the minute. Immediately once the campus switched to online um, and remote learning, I started working with our lab director early on as well saying, hey, what testing modalities are out there that we would be able to acquire that we would be able to use with our students to be able to test them in a timely manner. Uh, so that was a very stressful time in the sense that we had to pull together a lot of resources and capabilities that we didn't have before in order to make the virtual environment work for our students, faculty, and staff. When we knew that we were coming back in the fall um, in a very different way than um, traditionally, um, it was a challenge in and of itself to try and work through the logistics of how were we going to feed this large number of people and keep them safe while doing so. Right before I came to campus, I was definitely very nervous. I think I didn't get super nervous until right up, like that last week before I was going to leave. And I realized it was a big change. And then with the pandemic on top of everything, I didn't really know how the semesters were going to play out at all. I didn't know how social life would be and how I would be academically. It's been, it's been interesting, <laughs> that's the best way I could put it. Uh, some things are definitely more difficult, I feel like, because of the pandemic. So finding safe ways to hang out with my friends was really important to me, and we were able to do that. We can social distance and sit outside. Everywhere on campus is really social distanced, so we can sit at tables and things without being too packed in, and then we can go on walks where we're not around large groups of people. You know, our students have just had to be remarkably resilient in their approach to history and just our approach to the basics of conducting research in pretty much every facet of being a student. You know, it, 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 it is completely unfortunate that they weren't able to have what we might consider a traditional experience. Nonetheless, I think that they've come out with, in some instances, an even much more rewarding experience in the sense that, you know, they've got a grounded perspective of how, um, you know, serious and critical things are, but also, you know, how to truly overcome in the face of adversity. My first year experience has definitely been much different than I thought it would be, but I don't think that's a bad thing. It's strange not being able to see people's faces unless you see a picture of them and not really being able to interact with people. So that was definitely a change for me, but I felt like I was able to be more independent and really learn how to rely more on myself for that. But I feel extremely safe being at UNCG. We haven't had to go home at all, which was kind of shocking. And every time I look at cases at other schools, we are always the lowest. So I really wouldn't want to be anywhere else. We continued through that 2020 fall semester to monitor uh, our positive cases and, and our close contacts. And we were very fortunate to keep our numbers low, comparatively speaking, to all of the other campuses. And we were able to do so through our partnerships with Guilford County Public Health. We were, as a campus, one of the first campuses in the UNC system and in the state to do our own contact tracing efforts. And I believe that's what helped us stay on top of the situation. Oh, yes. and we're following up on your self-report that you submitted for testing positive for COVID-19. But the, um, the vaccine part is, was gonna be the part that was gonna help us hopefully turn the corner. So we're very fortunate again to partner with Guilford County Public Health to open up a mass vaccination clinic here on campus. Now, we had the capabilities to vaccinate up to a thousand people a day uh, and we had pretty high throughput during the first few weeks, uh, which was very uh, rewarding to see folks coming in, excited to get vaccinated, uh, knowing that that's gonna be one of the keys to getting through this pandemic. I think overall, everyone kind of 
let out a collective sigh of, okay, I think we've made it through the toughest part and we're hopefully at the peak of the mountain and starting to like work our way down a little bit. This semester, I've seen a lot more of how the campus looks just a little bit. So next semester, I'm really excited to see everyone outside playing games, enjoying the weather, like going to more sports games and things like that where everyone's just in their element. The pandemic overall was a, was a huge challenge, you know, no question of that. Uh, I think personally, uh, I am most proud of the entire university, our students, faculty, and staff. Everybody stepped up, they did their part, even in the, you know, the darkest of days. Uh, so that's really humbling and rewarding for me to know that I was able to coordinate and facilitate uh, a response during probably one of the most challenging times in the university's history. So something that I hope that is remembered um, about how um, UNC Greensboro handled it was just how much everyone embodied the culture of care. Um, but what I also hope that is really recorded in the record is how much the students were still active participants, not only in their educational experience, but with what, uh, but making the campus work. Um, and a lot of times that was remote, but nonetheless it still took place. You know, UNC Greensboro didn't you know, effectively shut down, so to speak. And so I think that that speaks to not only the university's resiliency, but how tough and dedicated the student body is. I'm in a strange way, almost glad that it was, that it happened for, for my class. Not that we got to miss out on things, but that we really got to be in this historical moment and live through it. And I feel like we've gone through one of the hardest things, hopefully we'll have to go through. So I feel like that just makes us stronger as people and as students. Everyone has felt this um, in some way or another. Either they know somebody that has been affected by COVID, they've had COVID themselves, their life as they know it, everyone's life as they know it has been affected. What I would like for uh, people when they look back at how this pandemic affected UNCG's campus and the community is how everyone across campus, across departments and different entities were able to come together with a common goal of making the semester and the academic year successful and in person. Because everybody has to do their part to give us the best chance of being able to have the semesters that we had. And I'm, I'm proud of the students for everything that we've asked them. We've asked them to do some incredibly hard things, um, especially when it comes to isolating and quarantining. And some of them had to do it more than once. Um, and so they have been willing to do that and for that um, I'm extremely proud um, and, and thankful.